good day to all grade 11 learners. Once again, welcome to Batan Academy Guidance TV, the official YouTube channel of the Batan Academy in National School. I am Mr. Jose Fred L. Francisco Jr., your Guidance Counselor. Module 3 of the Grade 11 Career Guidance Manual is entitled Reaffirming the Chosen Track. Information is essential in every decision making. Information is usually gathered from various sources to give a better picture of what we want to know and on what basis we are making such a decision. This module presents several choices of information about career choices that could influence or modify the decisions we make for our future. For our objectives, at the end of this module, the learners are expected to Number 1. Determine the different sources of information relevant to curriculum exits. Number 2. Evaluate the different sources of information relevant to their preferred curriculum exit. Number 3. Must the knowledge and skills to the job market demands and possible curriculum exits. And number four, value the importance of the chosen track and strike. Before we discuss our video lesson for today, let us watch first this short video entitled Finding a Job from the Department of Labor and Employment. Preparing for a job? Wait, let me check the requirements that I have here. Resume. Check. Birth certificate, diploma, and transcript of records. Check. NBI and police clearance. Check. Training certificates. Check. Nice. Looks like I'm really ready for this one. Hey! Jerome. You look so sharp today. Where are you going? Hey, Coney. I'm going to Makati. I have a scheduled interview on the company I applied at. So that explains it. Wait, have you prepared yourself well for that interview? Of course. This is my dream job so I have prepared a lot for this. Oh really? Do you mind telling me what kind of preparation did you do to make an impression and get your dream job? Well, it's simple. I just followed some tips from a very reliable source. I'll enumerate them to you. What to do before a job interview. Know the company. Find time to research about the company, the industry and the position being applied for. Groom to impress the interviewer. Dress professionally and conservatively. Wear clean and neatly pressed clothes. Sport a well-groomed hairstyle. Have clean and trimmed fingernails. Wear clean and polished shoes. What to do during a job interview. Be punctual. Come at least 15 minutes before the interview. Be polite. Smile and politely greet all company personnel. Carry extra copies of your resume. Answer competently and professionally. Reply to questions should be kiss, keep it short and simple. Avoid telling jokes, using street language, and deviating from the topic of conversation. It is alright to ask and clarify if you did not understand the question. Avoid eating, chewing a gum and using cellular phones. Prepare for salary negotiation, if given the option. If the salary is negotiable and you are asked for a desired salary or benefits, you may give your preference which may be based on your research. Say thank you after the interview. Wow! You really are ready. 
I'd say I'm really impressed. You really know everything. Thank you. I owe this to the Department of Labor and Employment. They are the one who provide me with this. This is the employment guide for students and job seekers. I downloaded one from their website. There are many useful information here regarding work, even for your own business. That sounds really great. I didn't know that they have those kind of services. How do I get a copy of that guide? Just log on to www.dole.gov.ph and download the file from the link there. Oh, the bus is here. I have to go. Wait, don't forget my sister's blow up later. You should come. Sure. I will. Good luck on your interview. Thanks. See you later. I think I have to go home and check the employment guide. Jerome said that there's information on having your own business. It will help me with my plan. For more details, visit www.ple.dole.gov.ph, brought to you by Department of Labor and Employment. More than jobs. It's decent jobs. Please answer these guide questions provided here. Number one, what does the video tell about? Number two, what does it say about acquiring information before making a decision? And number three, do you think this is all important and why? You may write your answers in your career guidance portfolio. In choosing a career, it is essential to first acquire substantial information about the different courses in order to come up with a valid and well thought out decision. Laying down all possibilities and considering several prospects would result in a more advantageous, attainable, and viable career path. What are the sources of information? Let us start with our school's guidance office. A school's guidance office is managed primarily by a registered guidance counselor or RGC, as mandated by the Public Act 1915, who implements a career guidance program that provides counseling to both individuals and groups, administers and interprets career tests, and provides other services such as referral, placement, research, information, and orientation. In the absence of an RGC, a career guidance advocate may lead the implementation of a career guidance advocacy program in the school. You may visit our guidance office for any information regarding career guidance. You may also visit us online through our official deputy page Batan Academy Guidance Office or through our official YouTube channel Batan Academy Guidance TV. Department of Education The Department of Education or DepEd is a government agency that formulates, implements, and coordinates policies plans, programs, and projects in the areas of formal and non-formal basic education. It supervises all elementary and secondary education institutions, including alternative learning systems, both public and private, and provides for the establishment and maintenance of a complete, adequate, and integrated system of basic education relevant to the goals of national development. Department through its partnership with industries and private entities may provide the needed labor market information in coordination with Department of Labor and Employment or DOLI. DepEd can be reached through its website www.deped.gov.ph. Department of Labor and Employment The Department of Labor and Employment or DOLI is a national government agency that envisions that every Filipino worker attains full, decent, and productive employment. It formulates policies and implements labor laws and labor-related legislations in order to promote gainful employment opportunities, develop human resources, 
protect workers and promote their welfare and maintain industrial peace. Bureau of Local Employment The Bureau of Local Employment develops policies, researches, labor, market analysis, strategies, programs, projects, operating guidelines and standards, and provides advisory relative to local employment, promotion and administration. BLE can be reached through its website www.bre.dolly.gov.ph Programs Projects of the Bureau of Local Employment A. Project Job Speed The Dolly 2020 Vision or Project Job Speed is the forerunner of the Dolly's priority deliverable projects for 2009. This forward-looking activity was based on researches, information, gathering, and networking with key stakeholders. It was carried out as part of those firm resolve to adopt coherent and innovative strategies to carry out its mandate in providing efficient employment facilitation services and respond to the prevailing skill and job mismatch underlying the unemployment and other employment problems in the country. Let our be labor market information. The project job speed resulted in the formulation of the labor market information which provides timely, relevant, and accurate signals on the current labor market such as in demand jobs and skills shortages by developing client-specific LMI education and communication skills. The material is part of the commitment of DOLI to support the Career Guidance Advocacy Program which seeks to promote career guidance as tool in assisting job seekers, particularly students, in making informed career choices. Letter C. Field Job Net Field Job Net is an automated job and applicant matching system which aims to fast track job seekers search for jobs and employer search for human resources. It can be accessed through www.fieldjob.net. Bureau of Labor Relations The Bureau of Labor Relations, or BLR, develops policies, programs, projects, operating guidelines and standards, and provides advisory relative to the administration and enforcement of labor management relations, including workers' organization, registration, and development, and resulting appeal intra- and inter-union disputes. Bureau of Workers with Special Concerns The Bureau of Workers with Special Concerns, or BWSC, develops policies, programs, projects, operating guidelines and standards and provides advisory assistance relative to the development and protection of workers that include own account and self-employed workers, informal and rural workers, including sugar workers, women workers, young workers, working children, differently able, the older and elderly workers, and workers in the personal service of another. Number four. Bureau of Working Conditions The Bureau of Working Conditions, or BWC, primarily performs policy and program development and advisory functions in the administration and enforcement of laws relating to labor standards. Number 5. International Labor Affairs Bureau The International Labor Affairs Bureau, or ELAB, develops policies, plans, programs, projects, guidelines, procedures, and standards relative to the international labor and employment concerns and monitors the country's observance and implementation of all obligations, courtesies, and facilities required by international labor affairs associations and institutions. Number six, regional offices. The regional offices and field offices are the operating arms for directly implementing the plans and programs developed by the bureaus and administering and enforcing labor standards and laws. Its regional office has a mediation, arbitration, and legal service unit, an 
Internal Management Services Division, Technical Services and Support Division, and Field Offices. Philippine Overseas Labor Offices The Philippine Overseas Labor Offices, or POLO, are the operating arms of the DOLI in different parts of the world. They take charge of administering and enforcing the duly adopted policies and programs of the Department about International Labor Affairs. To further implement its mandate effectively, DOLI has the following task and or coordinating agencies. Employees Compensation Commission The Employees Compensation Commission or ECC formulates policies, programs, and guidelines on occupational safety and health in the areas of prevention, compensation, and rehabilitation, undertakes continuing research and studies, extends technical assistance and advice on hazard recognition, risk assessment, and many more. National Conciliation and Education Board The National Conciliation and Education Board, or NCMB, formulates, develops, and implements policies, programs, projects, standards, procedures, manual of operations, and guidelines for the effective conciliation and mediation of labor disputes. Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration The Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration, or OWA, formulates and implements policies, programs, and projects in the administration of the welfare fund for overseas workers to be used for social and welfare services, including insurance coverage, legal assistance, placement assistance, and remittance services. Philippine Overseas Employment Administration The Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, or POEA, promotes and develops the Overseas Employment Program, protects the rights of migrant workers, and regulates private sector participation recruitment and overseas placement. National Labor Relations Commission The National Labor Relations Commission or NLRC is a quasi-judicial body tasked to promote and maintain industrial peace by resolving labor and management disputes involving both local and overseas workers through compulsory arbitration and alternative delivery modes of dispute resolution. National Wages and Productivity Commission The National Wages and Productivity Commission or NWPC acts as the national consultative and advisory body on matters relating to wages, incomes, and productivity, formulates policies, programs, guidelines, and standards on wages, income, and productivity improvement programs. Professional Regulation Commission the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC regulates and supervises the practice of professionals who constitute the highly skilled manpower of the country. This government agency can be reached through its website www.prc.gov.ph. Technical Education and Skills Development Authority the TESTA manages and supervises technical education and skills development in the country. It is the leading partner in the development of the Filipino workforce with world-class competence and positive work values. TESTA has four training modalities. Number one, school-based. Number two, center-based. Number three, enterprise-based. And number four, community-based. This government agency can be reached through its website www.tesla.gov.ph Government Service The Civil Service Commission is the human resource department of the government that promotes moral, efficiency, integrity, responsiveness, progressiveness, and courtesy in the civil service. This government agency can be reached through its website www.csc.gov.ph Local Government Unit Level The Public Employment Service Office or PESO is a non-fee charging multi-employment service facility 
or entity that carry out full employment and equality of employment opportunities for all. And for this purpose, to strengthen and expand the existing employment facilitation service machinery of the government, particularly in the local level. Higher Education The Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, is the key leader of the Philippine higher education system. It works effectively in partnership with other major higher education stakeholders in building the country's human capital and innovation capacity toward the development of a Filipino nation as a responsible member of the community. This government agency can be reached through its website www.ched.gov.ph Business and Enterprise The Department of Trade and Industry or DTI is tasked to foster a competitive and innovative industry and services sector that contributed to job generation and inclusive growth and to advance the rights and responsibilities of consumers. This government agency can be reached through its website www.dti.gov.ph We are done with the different sources of information relative to career guidance. Please answer the following guide questions. Number one, did the information help you in setting your curriculum exit? How? Number two, what skills are needed to pursue your curriculum exit? Do you already have these skills? Number three, what do you intend to do with the skills you already possess for the goal you will pursue? You may write your answer in your career guidance portfolio. It's now time for our activity. Activity 3.3 is entitled Dressing Up Mini Me. Because this is a video lesson presentation, we can have a little twist here. Look for a picture wearing a proper uniform based on your preferred curriculum exit. Paste it in your activity sheet or your career guidance portfolio. Write down the skills and or knowledge needed for the preferred curriculum exit. And write down the possible job market demands and possible curriculum exits. That's all for our grade 11 career guidance module number 3 entitled Reaffirming the Chosen Crop. Please click the subscribe button and the notification bell as a gesture of gratitude for using our video. Thank you so much and God bless us all.